What's up, guys? It's your boy Phil Shocker, the Nice to Hedgehog here, and I am actually here to re uh, record LPL uh, week six here against Jack. Um, for those not wondering uh, why I said I'm going to re record this, I did do a live com, and I had a lot of information set on this. But once I was starting to render and get ready to upload the video, turns out there could have been a copyright claim in my video. So before I hit published, I looked at what the claim was about. And apparently the claim was about a music track in Radical Red that belonged to someone and I could have been technically making money off of this video when the original would not get paid money off of the, the uh, music track in the video. So Unfortunately, that means I do have to redo um, this video because I don't want copyright claims on my channel. I don't really want that at all. I think it technically had like one on my old channel. So, definitely don't want to deal with the issues of copyright claiming and stuff like that. So, I deleted the old recording and we're just going to do a post-com. Um, don't get like I said, I don't really want to be doing post-coms all the time, but I have to do it just to make sure, you know, my channel stays safe and I also don't take any strikes against people. There's that. So with that being said, let's go ahead. If you guys still are excited for this battle, leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new. Join the Phil Shocker crew today because you'll be filling with this amazing crew. And with that being said, let's get into this battle. Not going to really talk too much about this battle because it's kind of a battle I kind of just want to forget. Uh, but he brought... um He didn't bring Umbreon, which was the only thing I think he didn't bring. And instead he brought Glyscor over Umbreon, which I was so happy not to see Double Dark. The Double Dark was so problematic. Um... I'm going to say that the title of this video will still be the same title as I titled it as um, the original of the video. And you're going to find out why I'm going to say that. Um, because you're going to look here. I don't flinch this thing. I'm not flinching the scissor. I'm just flinching the scissor. I'm flinching the one thing right now. Right? Uh, he said I switch out here. I was gonna go for the Dazzling, gonna get damage there. Probably should have just went for what I thought was the smarter play. I go for the sub here again. He's gonna click Future Sight. And you see, I go for Air Slash. I don't get the flinch again. I apparently cannot flinch a Slow King for some reason. Because I'm pretty positive Slow King's regenerator here. Like, there we go. I got one flinch on Slow King. One flinch! That was it. Then I got a crit there, so I go into Metagross here. He does the little punch just to get a crit back, so we trade for crits there. I'm gonna click Thunder Punch there, as he's actually gonna click the Roost right here, which sucks because I knew I had to have that. But uh, he go ahead switches out to his Arceus Dragon, uh, as I had now have to go back into my Togekiss with those Cientos, and uh, I have to pray he doesn't have Ice Beam. He does sadly have Ice Beam with no Invested. Actually, does he pretty much have a roll to kill me, which pretty much was gonna be the case there. Uh, I went for hammer arm there, like my speed lower, he's gonna U-turn out, and my Coco comes in, Coco pretty much doesn't kill me any one hit, unless it's specs, really was not specs, and I missed my Meteor Mash, which actually could have mattered, because if I got the Meteor Mash off, and a plus one attack, I could have hammer arm. He goes for this, as I click triple axle here, it's not enough to kill, but it's really gonna chip him down, and it's gonna force him to kill me. Which, legs would have been great later on, and you'll see that if I uh, had legs later on, I actually could have probably won the game. But, uh, I low rolled. I low rolled. Uh, I know, actually, I lost a speed tie. I lost a speed tie with Arceus Dragon, because I believe I was faster than Arceus Dragon. Um, so, uh, that sucked. It was just a soul war, man. It really, it really was. And here's where me not having Ice Beam is going to come back to bite me. Because I almost put Ice Beam on my uh, Arceus Bug. Because now without that, uh, this thing's a problem. I go into my Centaur, goes for Spatial Rend. Get that thing out of there. Now in comes Urshifu because he sucker punches me here. I want a Spatial Rend. And now right here, I'm going to click Sub. And we are in a really good position now. I'm going to Spatial Rend. Do pretty good damage to him. He's in the future slight. I'm going to Spatial Run again, and he reveals Slack Off. So, 
You know what this means, guys. We're gonna be here for a long time. Because now he goes into the Urshifu. Now it comes down to a 50-50 here. Sucker Punch plus my set. And get the prediction. I click Surf here. I'm gonna go ahead and click Spatial Ren. Oh, Earth Power, actually. I probably just click Switch Ren. Now, at this point in time, if I got the crit, I killed there. But, of course, I'm not lucky at Pokemon. And, uh... I can't get... The good stuff in Pokemon, so I went for the future site, did this and that, you know, I'm just trying to waste the PP right there and just he's baiting up the turns, which is really smart on his end. But uh to be completely honest with you guys, uh, this game is over. But I go for spatial I go for explosion there just to sack that off. I now go into this thing, I can get a sub up, and now I can either do surf surf, I do decide to go for there and actually kills Coco. So and again, no crit! High critical chance move doesn't crit. And you guys are going to see, I'm just going to kind of slowly skip the turns here because it is pointless to watch this. So, yeah. There's literally nothing I can do. I have to get crits to come back in this matchup. But of course... I don't get crits. Now, obviously, if I had Ice Beam, I probably could have just won this. Which, I am kicking myself slightly for not having Ice Beam on this set. If I had Ice Beam, I think I could have. Um, I do at least respect Jack for at least letting me know in advance that he is going to. So, I do respect Jack for at least apologizing and admitting that this is his only way to win the match. Or at least his, one, his best way to win the match. So I do respect Jack for at least being honest with me there. Um, like legit guys, if I did not get, if I could have gotten that crit, actually hold on, this is a turn I think that angers me a little bit here. Hold on. So let's, I think it's right here, right? I go for Flamethrower, still have not gotten a crit. He goes for U-turn, he goes to Scizor. Uh, no, it was not that, I think. But he basically kept getting crits on me when I was supposed to be the one that gets crits on him. You know? At this point in time, oh, so he also got a Scald Burn on me too, which was stupid. Yeah, at this point in time, I just had to sack Senator. sucks and literally he is going to now just stall me until I run out and he also gets skull burns by the way and that was the game uh again it absolutely sucks that twice if we got in the crit we would have killed slow cake with special ren and at that point in time um Palkia plus Arceus if those were my last two against Scizor and Gliscor. In that case, again, you know what happens? Uh, I 100% win that game. 100% win that game because Palkia just wins. Palkia can literally just win. Uh, Arceus can also be able to beat Scizor, can beat Scizor 1v1. I beat the Gliscor. Like, I had his team beat. 100% I had his team beat. But, of course, high critical chance moves don't crit for me when they're supposed to crit. So, we got screwed. And that ended our season pretty much there, guys. Uh, LPL is basically now over for us. We cannot make playoffs no matter what we do. Uh, some of these games I'm literally going to be playing. And also, don't be shocked if you don't see some of these mons on the team anymore. I may have said this in... Uh, actually, I'm not going to say that in um, Week 7, actually. So I'm going to say this right now in Week 6. Week 6, I made a bunch of transactions that we will go over each week, obviously. But I went over a bunch of transactions and doing some trades i'm literally just gonna have fun so if i can cause chaos and mayhem for the league with helping players get better teams i'm gonna do it you know just because i want to be causing chaos because that's the best thing you can do right now at this point but um i think what ultimately ended up hurting our season the most was just the trains and transactions we were doing uh i think i just wasn't really thinking i probably should have just stuck with my original team with my original guns uh no we could have actually have been really good but Hey, man, that's just how you got to learn in life. And, um, 
just go over the flow, man. But yeah, that's gonna be it for our season, though. But GG's to Jack. I he at least apologized in advance, knowing that his win con was to stall out my PP, and at least he told me in advance and was gonna try to you know be respectful with it and actually still you know not say nothing about it and everything like that. And I at least respect him for that. So definitely a good guy in Jack there. Uh, he definitely got the win. I definitely didn't go down with a fight without a fight, though. I kept trying and clawing and everything I could to get in this matchup. But when just luck is not on your side, man, and you had the moves to get the luck with you, it's just kind of how it's going to be. But geez to Jack, that is it for LPL's uh, Week 6 matchup here. Like I said, our season's basically over. Our last three weeks are just going to be fun games. And just try to play and do stuff, so... Yeah, but thanks, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry that you guys couldn't see the original live comment of this video, which was going to be like 30-something minutes. But again, I don't want copyright claims on my channel, so I made sure I had to readjust to fix the video. So That's it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys.